What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid. Not bad for that, yo. Today, we got... Uh, another market video, we're just going to go over prices, I'm going to tell you what to do with your hearts right now, and honestly, I have a feeling content might drop tomorrow, but I'm not sure, before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, sub if you are new, for a chance of winning 10k MT, so, first off, we're going to have a lot of content Friday, we're definitely going to have a new spotlight series, and possibly more prime packs, so, get ready for Friday, you know what? It's Market Talk Tuesday, baby. So we're going to go over the market. We're going to go over cards and all that good stuff. Market Talk Tuesday is one of my favorite episodes to post about. I love the market. I love all that good stuff. And as you guys can see, my Giannis's and Hakeem's, they sold. I got. I think I have another some other cards to sell. We got these Willie Reeds. We're waiting for these to go up right now. So right now, what I recommend you do, just in case any content does drop, go ahead and sell your cards because... Uh, prices are pretty high right now and honestly let's just check out some cards to go over I told you guys some cards to pick up we're gonna go all over them and we're gonna try to make MT before we get into the vid drop that like drop the sub uh, 10k MT in the comments for a chance to wait 10k MT vid hits 25 likes we'll give away 10k MT so let's check out Willie Reed so Willie Reed's at 35 and 37 so he did go up a little bit once this 35k sells so right now Willis Reed's not a bad car to buy if you could get him for like 32 or under, okay? Try to snipe him. It's not going to be a bad snipe if you do get him for 32k or under. I'm going to try to sell him Thursday before new content drops. I really pray. On Tuesdays, they do like to drop content. I pray to the Lord that they do not drop content because, oof, I will be scared. By the way, this video is pre-recorded, so if I drop content at 12 and new content drops at 12, it's my fault, bro. I have no time. I got work tomorrow, so yeah. Um, make sure you get ready for new content tomorrow. You never know a 2k, they could drop something and destroy your day. So just sell your cards, get ready for Friday, maybe even today. So, anyways, let's talk about Giannis. Let's talk about all the Amethyst cards. We talk about it every video. If you have them, I'm probably gonna just say sell them because they're high. But this is the thing, okay? This is what I'm gonna talk about in this video as well. So, if they don't drop new content tomorrow, you don't have to sell your Amethyst, but in my opinion, I would not take risks because you never know a 2K, like I said. So this is this is not what I'm going to say right now. So as you can see, all these Amethysts are around 30K, Harden, Paul George, and Kawhi. So first of all, if you buy these cards, you're a dingus because on Friday, you're going to lose a ton of MT. So do not buy any cards right now. That's all I'm going to say. If you want to make MT, do not buy cards. So that's number one. Number two. If they drop content tomorrow, a big market crash will happen and you will lose MT regardless. So that's why I'm selling your cards. But if you wait till Friday, if you really think 2K is not going to drop content tomorrow or today, I should say, if you really think they're not going to drop content, stay. you could hold on to these cards. But if you hold on to them, you also have a chance of losing MT if they do drop content. So honestly, what I recommend selling now, I mean, I sold now. You guys could sell now because I took my dub early. But if you want to wait, because I remember last week these cards were all at 35k plus. If you want to wait and try to make even more MT on these cards right here, you could. There is a risk, but high risk, high reward. That's what they say. So honestly, if you have these cards, I mean, hmm, you can either take a 5k loss, or you can even take you. You could probably take a 7k to 10k loss or a 5k dub. So it's up to you, honestly. There's a lot, I don't know, it depends, it's really up to you, I sold mine, let's check out Giannis, honestly, I don't know, I really don't think content's dropping, but once again, you never know, let's check out Giannis, um, he's at 56k, 53k, so, you know I just sold mine in the video, what was it, for 54, 53, got mine for 39, 40, that's big dubs right there, um, that was market crash day, so right now, do not buy Giannis, very, very, very bad price, honestly, Pretty much any Ameth Amethyst to buy right now is just a bad price because you never know a 2k Honestly, if you see any Amethyst on Friday for cheap, that's the best time to buy them You can't buy Amethyst on any other day. That's it. I came to the conclusion only days they drop you could buy Amethyst is on new pack day 
New content equals MT equals market crash. That's it. One thing I'll say though, this Curry at 39K isn't the worst buy. Because last week and this week, I sold him at 53K. So that was right before the market crash. If you pick him up for 39 and wait and no content drops tomorrow, there is a possibility you could sell him for 49K. Definitely a risk, but you wouldn't lose that much MT if you do not sell them for like let's say you sell them back for 40 you'll lose like 3500 i mean it's up to you i would try to get curry for 35k if you want to wait if you want to be like the high risk type reward guy try to snipe one out and just wait if no content drops tomorrow whoever kept their card is going to make 5k each to 10k each on each card so i mean it's risky i would like to be risky in 2k because when you're risky in 2k they drop new content and they destroy your whole week I, that has happened to me before. Uh, I believe I had my whole team, uh, I believe, like two weeks ago. They dropped content on Tuesday. It wasn't expected. I lost probably 50K MT. So if you, have a, if you have like 400K MT invested in cards, go ahead and sell them. Honestly, I ugh, risks are not good in 2K. There's always... Like, what happens if they drop crazy content tomorrow? They just got packs out of the game, and you never know. Like, if they take packs out of the game, that means packs are going to drop again. So... But when? That's the question. When is it going to drop? It could be tomorrow, Friday for sure, but definitely tomorrow. Keep that in mind. Let's look at Rudy Tomjanovich and Xavier McDaniel. Because I'm pretty sure Rudy Tomjanovich is in packs but about to go. So let's check out his price. We got 12K, 11K, 8K. That's a snipe. Yes, we got it too. So it looks like he's at 12K. I picked up about three or four of him for 9K. We're going to sell them for 12. We're going to make some decent MT right there. That's about 3K. Wait, 12K, 9K. About 20-something hundred off each if I could sell them for 12, 3. About 20-something. High 20-something hundred. Not bad at all, honestly. Off the 8K one, I'll make 3-something on it. So, honestly, bro, not bad. We got three of them. We're going to wait. Um, let's check. Is he in pack still? He's out of pack. So, his price should go up a little bit. Also, um... Xavier McDaniel's out of packs. If you guys got him, his price went up a lot. He was one of the rare ones, bro. He's really expensive. If you get him and you turn him into a pink diamond, you'll make a ton of MC. But yeah, as you can see, bro, that car was really rare. I wish I pulled him. Like, honestly, that would have been awesome. But yeah, his pink diamond is so expensive. If you have the time to grind, you will make so much MT. Like, I mean, so much MT. So yeah, try that out. If you have him, try to get him to at least a diamond. You, I remember my video. You got him for it was he was 60k and under. He was like 55k to 65k when before the packs were gone. I think it was Friday. He was like 55 to 65k, and now he's at like 80 something k. So it's interesting. Honestly, if you have the time to grind, we're gonna make a. You know what? We're gonna make a video right after this. We're gonna make a a vault player video. I don't know if you guys know about it, but. There's a way that you could evolve players fast, and it's very easy. It's literally, it's somewhat a glitch, somewhat a glitch. We're going to have a video on that right after this, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, honestly, overall, overall about this video on Market Talk Tuesday, this is what I'm going to tell you guys. So, outcome of Market Talk Tuesday, you could take the risk and set, uh, you could take the risk and hold on to your cards, or you could just take the dub now and sell your cards that you've got in the market crash like me. Um... I did well in the market crash. I made about 50k MT off six cards, and I have other cards to sell. So not bad. Not a bad market crash. Not bad at all. Now, honestly, what I recommend waiting. I mean, honestly, I feel like since the packs expired on Monday, which was yesterday, which I am recording it on Monday. Honestly, I feel like they would have dropped something, but since they didn't, I don't think they will drop content today. Hopefully, they don't. Listen, big risk if they do not drop. Big rewards if they don't drop content. If they drop content, you take L's. It's up to you, man. Personally, like I said, I sold my cards. Sell yours too. That's all I'm going to say. I don't like risks. Especially if you're a kid that doesn't spend money on the game and your budget. Take the, take the dub now. Sell now. Get ready for next market crash, which is Friday. We'll have a great video on that Friday morning. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Other than that, have a good one. Peace.